Hello everybody, set 11 is now on PBE. It is finally time to experience some new TFT. So today's schedule, we've got TFT, then Tekken, and somewhere in the middle we'll be doing a lot of dungeon invites. We also just launched our new season of dungeons. Okay, I'll just go into a blind and just try to figure it out. It should be fun. Oh, my, my stream is currently streaming none. There we go. I don't know why it was set to streaming um, none. Hmm? Who's this asshole? Oh, Pogma. Mythic. Mythic champions gain health, AP, and attack damage. Oh, wow, did I just make Econ? I made Econ. Oh, Kabuko! Ooh! Very pretty RE skin. I'll just buy everything. Destination is cool. I'm down to just like see what two stars I hit. Faded. Hover over one faded unit over another to form a pair. Your pair gains 20% health. Arcanus. Gain AP. Your team gains 5% bonus damage. Plus more based on your level. After combat, stores 2 EXP and a soul core. So it's like an econ trait, kind of. Okay, wait, I got snipers. Oh, Caitlyn's a sniper as well. Okay, what if I did Caitlyn and Kogma reroll? That sounds kind of fun. Ghostly crown. Gain a ghostly emblem, a bramble vest, and a shen. Oh, well, I don't have any ghostlies. What's these numbers on the reroll? Oh, can I like store them up? Oh wait, Caitlyn's ghostly. Oh shit. Sorry, Caitlyn. Alright, let's do buried treasures. Get a bunch of items. Are these all skins that exist in League of Legends right now? They look really good. Like this Jenna? As you wish. Man, I haven't played League of Legends in a long time. When did this like very cute Jenna skin exist? Uh, I'm down to get owned. So let's go ahead and make Econ. So what if I did a Caitlyn and Kogma reroll? I mean, nothing's confirmed yet, but what if I rerolled like a bunch of one and two costs? I feel like if you have like three or four units you can reroll, it would work out. So Caitlyn, Kogma, and then what's like a, a tank? I need one cost tanks. I mean, that's probably a lot, right? Right now I have the Kobuko guy, but I, I'm sure that Kobuko is going to be uh, contested. Never a dull moment. Oh, what about Fortune? How does Fortune work? One, two, three, when you lose a fight, gain luck. The more fights in a row you lose, the more luck you get. Is that like the old Fortune? Probably not this game, because I already have like this Kogma stuff going on. Uh, yeah, I'm down for a blue buff Kogma. Let's see what this looks like. And let's just slam this gargoyle. Alright, blue buff Kogma, show me what you got. Okay, so my Kabuko is gaining HP now, right? He was at 790 HP. That actually sounds ridiculously broken. What's up, Behemoth? I herald the greatest blessing. Oh, it's like a it's a cool tank shirt. Yes. Um What is Kabuko? Bruiser? Who's this other one cost bruiser? Rek'Sai? Yes, yeah, Rek'Sai. So what if this was my build? Who is one more unit I can add to this? Is there a unit that like has Dryad, Ghostly, Invoker? Oh shit. Any spats? Crap, I don't know what the correct items are. Is it like Gwinsu's? Probably not. Smash. Oh, Nashers? What about Nashers Kogma? He casts so often. It's like Ari from last set. Yeah, I really like this art style so far. 
Okay, so let's try to find a unit that fits the, the last spot. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll take this Shen. Our wills align. What's an Ultraist? Ultraist heal the lowest health ally for 15% of the damage I deal. That's kind of cool. Oh fuck, there's actually so much to think about. I'll keep it simple. I'm just gonna play like these five units. Who cares if it's optimal? Let's just play it. We'll probably lose. And we'll just like slowly learn. The first like five games of every TFT set are always very overwhelming. Oh, Chogat's the behemoth. Oh, there's a lot of behemoths. Oh, Aatrox for Bruiser Ghostly. Oh yeah. Let me show you darkness. Oh, okay. I probably, I probably have to choose. Yeah, I will probably have to choose between um, bruisers or behemoths. They're both good tank traits. Uh, probably bruisers then. Uh, Aatrox. Is there one more bruiser I can add in here? Never a dull moment. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it simple. Lock on to... Lock on to all bruisers. So... What bruiser am I missing? Oh, Riven. Riven. In darkness, we find ourselves. Uh, I have a lot of swords. Wait, okay. Alright, this is my reroll build. Let's give it a try. So let's roll a little bit here. I'm only gonna worry about this and like who cares if it's not that good. When life gives you sour bandleberries, make bandle brew. Bigger and better. Do I want to do jeweled gauntlet? I feel like Gunblade's more fun. Wait, I'm already like so low. Twin Terror. Probably Jeweled Lotus. Okay, I'm still in Kog'Maw 1, I just realized. I guess I just slow roll. Maybe I was supposed to roll earlier to try to hit all the one costs. Burdens of the past. Or, I could roll until I hit two-star Kog'Maw and then just call it. Oh God. Spirit, reveal our way. Ash, Porcelain Sniper. Start with 15 arrows, gain one every three attacks. That sounds really fun. All right, I think I need to just slam this. Uh, I really wanted to um, commit to this Kog'Maw reroll, but I literally only have two, even after rolling quite a lot. Okay, honestly, at this point, I've already spent a lot of time thinking about it. I should probably just, I should probably just commit, even though I'm level five. I feel like I was supposed to hyper roll. I didn't want to hyper roll because the Kabuko guy scales. All right, I'm committing. We'll we'll try like a different build a different time. Let's commit to this build even if we already kind of played it badly. New day, new friends. Fated sniper. Same old me. Okay, now we just slow roll. Kaylin's like a support sniper. She like kills one unit, I feel like, and that's it. What does Ghostly do? Upon dealing or taking damage seven times, Ghostly units send two specters. I'm gonna go ahead and make this IE. It should be fine. I mean, like, if these turn out to be weak units, then whatever, like, at least we learn. PB is not really a balanced experience. It's just like, try out everything. We'll just like, try everything a little bit today and see what's fun. I don't really care if something's OP. I just care if like, the concept of it works well. This Kog'Maw looks pretty good so far. Looks pretty satisfying. 
That's my first round win. Can I get a pog in the chat? Thank you, Warmlax, for the 15 months, by the way. Yone adds a bonus offensive. Oh. I'm just taking a spat. Oh, there was a ghostly emblem. I just like made a red buff, thinking that I'm like it's like the old Caitlyn, but it's not actually. What what's a spat I can make here? It's it's only ghostly, right? Okay, wait, so what is ghostly exactly? Oh actually it's like pretty decent. I should be doing some rolling. Up for a showdown. Never a dull moment. Oh shit. This Cogmon looks pretty fun, honestly. Like, it, we're kind of like too late, but he looks exciting. It took too long to hit him, though. Oh, fuck. Um, I'm almost at Rek'Sai 3. I have to sell something. I have to sell Riven. Oh, uh, I think I, I went for too many units at once. Okay. Eventually, I'll condense my rural builds to like, only contain a couple units. All right, well, it's make or break time. Let's see if uh, these units are good. Caitlyn looks cute. I'm a fan. The art direction in this set is awesome. I, I very much like how everyone looks. Oh my god. Never this is so sad. I swear to god, if Kog'Maw's the next unit I get. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not gonna grab these orbs. This is so sad. Oh my... Come on, give me a 3 star so I can clear my bench. Give me any 3 star so I can clear my bench. Oh my god. Oh my god. Meet the long gun of the long. Boom. Headshot. Now I can grab these orbs. Okay, let's see what this three-star Kogma can do. Is he insane? Not quite. The egg is the worst thing I could take here. I would instantly die. But wouldn't it be so much fun? Oh, hedge fun with Kabuko sounds so fun, but I'm definitely gonna die instantly. I mean, Radiant Relics is definitely an instant loss here. It's really bad in this spot. Oh, it's not the egg. I I'm definitely just dead instantly if I take the egg. No, it's not that. Oh, fuck. I guess actually Radiant Relics. That's so sad. Okay, these suck. Alright, Kabuko, scale me to infinity. Thank you, Given. Thank you, Wong Fungal Pop. Welcome. I'm definitely dead, guys. This is so doomed. If only I had three star Kabuko. He's got so much HP. And he, uh, he's been like scaling up the entire game. Right, I won. This is a two star Kabuko. Any bruisers? No bruisers. Oh, yeah. 
As you wish. What is a Kabuko? It's this guy. He's kind of cute. He's like a bear. And then his passive looks really overpowered. Gain 15 permanent max health per gold collected. Like, as a tooth star, he's already so scaled up. Actually, like a broken unit. But, like, I wish I could have three starred him. I didn't have the space to hold him, and I didn't hit them any early. I'm pretty sure two star Kabuko is gonna scale to infinity. Wait, Kogma killed the unit that Caitlyn was ulting, so what happens there? Wait, Kabuko's not dying! 5,300 HP tank! Well, hello, Sejam. Thank you so much for the raid. I saw you were playing uh, Tekken earlier. Wait, I need to figure out what items I want. To everyone coming in, we are checking out the new season of TFT. It just came out today. We're playing on PvE, the test server. Uh, Tekken will be later today, in about, I want to say, four hours. I know it's kind of a long time. So I, I will not be offended if you guys uh, leave and come back later. If you don't have any interest in TFT, I don't I don't blame you. It is a very specific game. I'm understanding of that. All right, I have a ghostly emblem. It's the only thing I can make. The selling count is gaining gold. Oh, what the fuck? We just had an ad play. Uh oh, that is a really bad timing. I'm sorry to everybody who had to watch an ad. What is this? Oh god, this somebody get this guy off of me! Oh, okay, he's off. What about red buff? No, it's not good on this Caitlyn. This Caitlyn's like a one-shot sniper. Wait, this this Yone is insane, it's just like real league. Oh god. Wait, he just like snipes my carries. Burdens of the past. Hello, Kalos. Kaisa. Fire 20 waves at a current target over 2 seconds. Okay. It's worth slamming the ghostly spat now. Well, I want to see if I get a fawn first. Also, maybe a little nihilistic or nihilistic, but I don't really care if I die. If I die, I'll just go to the next game and try to learn something. I, I have like no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm just fumbling around. Looking for a ghostly unit. Any ghostlies? I am awakened. Okay, I feel like I like Gwinsu's here. I could be wrong. I'm gonna do it. And then Ghostly Spat. Okay, so now I just need one more Ghostly. Okay, welcome back from the ad break. I'm really sorry about the ad timing. That wasn't intentional. I try to time my ads so that they happen in between games, but because I spent so long reading what the TFT units do, I started my game late. That's my fault. Especially even worse because it happened right after our raid. I want you guys to know, I don't intentionally play those ads. They happen automatically on a timer. It's one of the Twitch things. Okay, these units are kind of fun. I kind of like this Kogma Caitlyn carry. All right, let's level up. It's end game. Uh, I, I can't imagine what I need here. Um, like any any tanks, I guess. Ooh, that Rakan or a the ghostly. A dragon. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? I'm also looking for like a better uh, bruiser. Hello, soccer freak. Spirit, reveal our way. Okay, I have a Lissandra legendary unit. Steep into the current target. Oh, steep the current target into a teapot, stunning and dealing magic damage. If they die, Lissandra turns him into a loot orb. Oh, interesting. Wait, how am I winning? 
My team sucks, and I took forever to hit. Is it actually like a Kobuko death? What's going on? Kindred offers you a temporary item. Oh, um, okay, sure. What? What? Okay, I need to keep rolling. Call me evil. Uh, them right? I need like a a drad or an invoker. No. Yeah, okay. A drad or an invoker. Keep your journey or die in mine. What's an invoker? Every three seconds your units gain mana? Okay. This is probably just my comp. And I'll just like roll to improve it. Wait, I'm actually winning because my my Kobuko, he's a two-star one cost, has almost 7,000 HP. Okay, something's not right. I can't believe my team is winning. What the heck? These are challenger players too. Like, I recognize Sox. I recognize uh, a common quail. I recognize Tyrell. These are all challenger players on TFT. Unusual. I got an Aeok. An Annie on Carousel. You've been stacking since the beginning of the game? Yeah, but it's so easy to get this unit. The fact that a 2-star can become... Like, imagine if it was 3-star. He would have scaled even harder and he'd have an additional 1,000 HP. I just, like, didn't hit it, so I had to give up. Oh, Annie's a tank? You're telling me this puny little child is a tank? Oh, wait. Heal? Tibbers? Oh, shit. She tanky. Create a blizzard at the largest clump of enemies. Oh, I need to keep rolling. Heart is empty without empathy. I will not hold back. Oh, Annie has a one hex range. Okay, I don't even know. I don't know why I'm trying to thin the pool here. It's PBE. Oh, you're right. She does have a one hex range. All right, interesting. Four ghostly, or yeah, four ghostly, four bruiser, two sniper. Caitlyn, Kogma, duo carry. This actually looks really fun. Does Caitlyn's bullet travel through targets? Wait, I can't believe I'm this strong. We randomly freestyled the comp together in our very first game, barely looking anything up, and we're just beating players. It actually just feels like a Kabuko diff. This unit seems not normally. Infinitely scaling one cost, but like infinitely scaling guaranteed. That's crazy. I should try it. That's yeah, like country. Oh no, I guessed wrong. Oh, is this is this him? Oh, her. Oh, Kyle's a girl. Oh shit, this looks really fun actually. I have my Caitlyn on the wrong side. Oh no, am I actually dead because of wrong side Caitlyn? I think I'm dead. No! Please, let me live, let me live, let me live! Let me live with a one, I'm sorry. Please! 1 HP, 1 HP, 1 HP! Oh! Okay, what can I do? Um, I could keep rolling for 2 star Silas. Just another tank, I guess. I feel like I just go 9, right? And then just try anything. Who is this 5 cost Sage? Maybe that's a good, good unit to throw in. Let's go 9 and then throw in a 5 cost. Silas is not a tank. Wait, if he's not a tank... Why? Why they make? Why is he tank shaped? Look what you make me do! Jesus Christ, that was loud. Stick to the plan. We have a plan. Let's move. I've got people to inspire. My journey's only begun. Alright, what does this Wukong do? Allies in the front row gain Omnivamp, allies in the back row gain ability power. Cycle through the following abilities, throw out a staff. Okay, sure, whatever. The comp, the comp fits. Oh no! Dude, this Yone instantly kills my backline. Oh, I'm dead. No! Wait, what do you do against this Yone? He just runs to the backline, no counterplay.
dash to the... Oh. Hey, I got a fourth. That's kind of cool. I, I enjoyed my one cost sniper reroll. Okay, wait. There's This set looks really fun so far. First game, and I'm like, I already really like it. The art direction's really cool. A lot of units look very fun. I can't speak out the balance, but like, PB is never balanced, right? It's, it's always just like, try a bunch of wacky things. 